Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is on graphing and writing equations of parabolas. So I'm going to stretch your uh, your thinking skills a little bit. Okay, so the graph of y equals x squared. Remember y equals x squared, uh, y equals ax squared. Remember y equals x squared is a parabola that opens up like this. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take this knowledge and stretch it a little bit here. So so here's a parabola. It's going up like that. Okay, and if, if a was negative, it would be going down. Okay, and it's going through, uh, has vertex 0, 0, so here's the vertex right here. And then uh, we'll talk about this in just a second right here. That shouldn't be there, but that's called the focus. I'll talk about that. So, uh, and the axis of symmetry is this red guy right here. The axis of symmetry is where you can fold the graph in half. Okay, so, so here we, and, and has equation x equals 0. So this line is equation x equals 0 right here. All right, so what we're going to do is, um, oh, look at all that. Okay, so each uh, each point is equidistant from a, uh, a, each point on the parabola is equidistant from this point called the vertex. So this, this point right here, this distance right here is the same as this distance to this line right here. And this line is called a directrix, you guys. Okay, and don't let it get, get scary too much. We'll unwind it. I know right here it's kind of scary, but but every point, if I pick this point right here, this point is the same distance away to this place called the focus point and the directrix point right there. Okay, if I pick the point over here, the distance from here to the focus point would be the same as it is to the directrix point. Okay, so each point is equidistant from a point called the focus and a line uh, called the directrix right there. And then here's the uh, the important part right here, you guys, is the vertex is always in the middle. The vertex is right in the middle. This distance away to the directrix is the same as this distance away to the focus right here. Okay? And then, um, uh, and we're going to call that P right there. So the equation uh, Y equals AX squared is now going to be written as uh, x squared equals uh, 4py. So if we have this number right here, we're just going to either multiply or divide and put it over there on that side right there and get the x squared all by itself right there. Okay, so that's going to be our new form right there. We're not going to write it like this. I'm still going to graph it like this, but we're going to start writing it like this. They call this the standard equation. Uh, this book does this anyways. And the distance between the vertex and the focus is this P right here. Okay, so that's that P, that little let me go back right there. Uh, this is P right here. This is P, and then this is P right here. Whatever the length is on P. It might be 2 or 3, or it might be a fraction, at 1 half, or could even be something like 5 halves or something. Okay? All right, so uh, the distance between the vertex and the focus is, um, is and, the, and the vertex and the directrix is always P. Okay? The vertex is in the middle. Let me go back. The vertex is in the middle, and the parabola always surrounds the focus, okay? I'm going to come back to this statement a lot in this lesson right here. All right, so here we go. Uh, so when P is positive, it opens up, okay? So when P is positive, it's opening up. It's like if this is positive right here, okay? This A right here is my 4P, so we're just going to call it 4P so we can get our focus point and our distance right here. All right, so when it's positive, it opens up, and when it's negative, it opens down right there, okay? So notice your vertex is still in the middle, your focus is down here, and your, your, your parabola always surrounds the focus. It's the focus protector, okay? So this is P, this is P right here, okay? Now we're going to do some ones that go sideways. When they go sideways, this time the Y is being squared. It's the same thing except it says 4PX. Let me go back over here where we had it. It was x squared equals 4py. That gives us the opening up or down. And then when we want to open to the left or to the right, uh, it's going to have your y being squared and your x is over here. So um, uh, it's just switched around a little bit. Okay, and then so when p is positive, it opens to the right. Notice your parabola always surrounds the focus right here and your vertex is always in the middle. That's p. That's p right there. Okay, and this this uh, focus point is at uh, it's at um, p comma zero. Okay, all right, and then uh, when it's negative, it goes to the left. Okay, that's still zero zero, but your p is over here. Okay, so uh, that's p. That's p. Notice your vertex is always in the middle, and your parabola always surrounds the focus, whether it's opening up, down, left, or right. The parabola 
always surrounds the focus and the vertex is always in the middle. Okay? All right. All right, so let's graph this guy. Graph uh, x equals negative uh, 1 eighth y squared to identify the focus directrix and axis of symmetry. Okay, let's first uh, multiply both sides by negative 8 to get it in the standard form y squared equals 4px. Okay, so when I multiply both sides by negative 8, I get this, y squared equals negative 8x right there. Okay, now since the y is being squared, this one's opening to the left or to the right. Remember, if we had y equals x squared from algebra 1, it was a parabola that opened up, y equals x squared. But when the y is being squared, it's opening to the left or to the right. And since that's negative, it's opening to the left, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here. So this 4p tells me what p is. There's 4p right there. So I found out that p is negative 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph. There's the vertex, there's the focus. I just went to the left, negative 2. Okay, remember the vertex is always in the middle. And the parabola surrounds the focus, so it's going to go this way. All right, so when I graph this guy, you guys, uh, it's just like when we graphed it before from the vertex. If I go up 1, it goes to the left. It's always this number, 1 8. Okay, so I'm using this number for the graph, 1 8 of 1 squared. Well, I didn't graph that because it would have, would have been right there on the line right there. So I went up 2. 2 squared is 4, and then an 8 of that is a half. So I went over a half. So up 2 over a half down 2 over a half. Now I could have went up 3 and went over 3 squared is 9, an eighth of that. I uh, did that right here. 3 squared is 9, an eighth of that is 1 and 1 eighth. And I could have done that. I could have went just a little bit past 1, somewhere right there. But I, I went up 4, because that one's easy to graph. 4 squared is 16, an eighth of that is 2. So I went to the left 2. Down 4, 4 squared is 16 to the left 2. Okay, so there's my parabola right there. All right, and then my directrix is directly behind it. My directrix is a line that's behind it back here. Okay, so it's a vertical line. Vertical lines are x equals, you guys. So uh, I get x equals 2 is my uh, directrix, and my axis of symmetry is y equals 0. Okay, it's where I can fold it in half right there. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so we're going to do the same with y equals 1 half x squared. Okay, let's multiply both sides by 2 to get x squared equals 2y. Now that 2y is that 4p, you guys, so I get p equals a half. Okay, so let's go ahead and graph. Now since the x is being squared, this one's opening up, okay, because it's positive. So there's p right there, okay, the vertex is right there. So let's go ahead and graph those guys right there, okay. And then the directrix is down below at y equals negative a half right there. Remember, the vertex is always in the middle, and the parabola surrounds the focus, so it's going up like that, okay. So um, when I go over 1, I use this number right here, 1 half of 1 squared. Over 1 is 1 squared is 1, a half of that is just 1 half. Over 2, 2 squared is 4, a half of that is 2. So that's how I'm getting these points right here. Over 3, 3 squared is 9, a half of 9 is 4 and a half. So way up here at 4 and a half, okay? And then uh, don't forget uh, your axis of symmetry is uh, the line where it folds it right in half. This is a vertical line, so vertical lines are x equals, okay? All right, so I think we got everything right there. Okay, so write an equation in standard form of the parabola with the given focus and the vertex at 0, 0. Okay, so this is at 8, 0. Well, let's get a picture of this first, you guys. Just draw a quick picture, 8, 0. Remember, the vertex is always in the middle. Here's the focus point right here. So this is P equals 8. Okay, so uh, let's get the equation. Well, we know it's in this form. Remember, the, yeah, I just, just said that. Okay, remember the um, uh, it's in the form of y squared equals 4px, and since p is 8, then it's uh, we plug it in and we get y squared equals 32x. Okay, let's try another one, you guys. Uh, this time it's at 0, negative 6. Okay, let's draw a quick picture. So C is at negative 6. Okay, this is in the form of uh, x squared equals 4py. Remember, the vertex is always in the middle, and the parabola always surrounds the focus right here. It's the focus protector. Okay, so um, uh, here's, here's P right here. Oh, that says C. It should say P, you guys. Sorry, that should say P. Let's see if I can fix that real quick. Uh, I don't know if I can. I do, uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, that's supposed to be a P. All right, anyways, uh, so I get uh, x squared equals uh, 4 times negative 6y or x squared equals negative 24y. 
All right, let's try another one. Write an equation of the write a, write the standard form of the equation of the parabola with the given directrix and the foot and the vertex is at zero zero. This is pretty much the same, you guys. Okay. All right, so here's the directrix right here. X equals negative five. I should have wrote wrote that equation down right there. X equals negative five. Okay. So actually, I can right now. Uh, X equals negative five. Okay, that's what this equation is right there. So that tells me right there that the focus is over here at 5, 0. So this is C. C is right here also. C is equal to 5. It's positive 5 because it's opening to the right. Okay, so it's of the form x squared equals 4py. P is 5, so we get uh, x squared equals 20y. Okay, let's try one with a fraction because I know you guys are going to ask me when you get into class when you get to these fractions right here. Okay, quick sketch. Y equals is a horizontal line at 5 twelfths. Okay, whatever 5 twelfths is on your sketch right there. 5 twelfths is a little bit less than a half, so 1 would be somewhere up here somewhere. All right, and then uh, remember the vertex always surrounds the, per, uh, the focus. Uh, so there it is. It's always in the middle. So C is at negative 5 twelfths. This is of the form uh, x squared equals 4py, so plug that in, cancel things out, and I get x squared equals negative 5 thirds y, okay? All right, if you're in my class, I'm going to assign that as your homework. This says every other odd, 3 to 47. All right, bye-bye.